Hello students. Today we are going to do the third revision for final exam. And I hope you all are preparing yourselves for your maths paper. So this is the third revision and there are a few instructions which I want to give you before you start with your exam. Now for your revision three, we've got few questions. That is find the quotient and remainder. So the first one is 93 divided by three, 65 divided by five, 61 divided by two, 79 divided by seven, 81 divided by eight, and 99 divided by six. For those sums, you need to divide the sums correctly, write the tables at the side, and also write the answer as quotient and remainder. Now, handling data, you have to prepare a table and show the tally marks and answer the following question. So, your first sum is, you've got 10 roses, 5 lilies, 7 lotus and 11 sunflowers. So, you'll make a table. In that, you will write flowers, name of the flower. Then, you'll write the second column as tally marks. The third column as total number of flowers. And then, you will draw the tally marks as per the number that is given. The moment you come to number five, you will draw a slant line. So it will be one, two, three, four, and then the slant line. Again, one, two, three, four, and then the slant line. So accordingly, you will write the number and answer the question. Now for your exam, you don't need to write these questions. You will straight away make a table and you will directly write draw the tally mark, write the information that is required, and you will answer the questions as A1, A2, A3, and A4. So follow the same method even in your book when you're doing the sum. The second sum is 12 ice creams, 10 burgers, 15 french fries, and seven sandwiches. So this is about how many food items does this table give us information. So you will count the number then which food item is liked by most number of children how many children like burgers and which food item is liked by least number of children so accordingly you will make a table you will not copy the questions at all you will only make a table with the name of the food item the tally mark and the total number of children and accordingly you will fill in the correct details and write the answers as A1, A2, A3, and A4. Now, this is your paper pattern for final exam. It's marked 30. So, we are done with all the revision. So, the paper pattern is fill in the blanks, arrange vertically and solve, find the quotient and remainder, word problems, handling data, draw and color the given fractions, draw the clocks to show the given time. Now, some general instructions which I want to give you for your written exam. You will copy the questions correctly and write very, very neatly. Since you're writing the paper at home, neat work is mandatory. You cannot submit an untidy paper to me. So, your name has to be written correctly, your roll number, which is your exam seat number. And the test will come as your final exam. Now, you will underline the heading using a ruler and pencil that is when you write fill in the blanks you will underline it and then you'll write one two three four you will not leave a line there once you finish all your fill in the blanks then you leave a line and draw a line even for solving your sums you will fold the page into two and then you will solve the sums in the following way so if you have four sums you'll do one sum on one side the second sum on the other side same with the third sum on the other side and fourth sum on the you will make a rough column wherever it is needed and required. Calculator is not allowed for solving any sums. You will use color pencils to color the fraction and clocks. You will draw tally marks using a pencil and ruler. You will underline the answers using a ruler and pencil. And last but not the least, what I want to tell you is being honest is the best policy. Okay. So, see you children, complete your work, 
practice for your exams and see you bye bye